Welcome to African Entrepreneur's Journey, where we inspire you to start off your business, grow it, and even profit from it, and be better than you were yesterday. Today, we'll be discussing the entrepreneur mindset. What kind of people become entrepreneurs? What kind of thinking should you have for you to be a successful entrepreneur? In my previous video, I mentioned about how suddenly you have so many responsibilities if you're an entrepreneur, more than you had when you were employed or than you had when you were in school. You suddenly have to do so many things for you to be successful. And this requires a lot of tenacity. Now, we're going to be discussing some mindsets that you need to have for you to be successful as an entrepreneur. First, you have to have passion. Now, most of the time people talk about passion for the work you'll be doing. But as an African entrepreneur, with all the different businesses I've seen, many times you do not get an opportunity to do business within that area that you're passionate about. Maybe things are slowly changing, but more often than not, People could not make money, for example, being actors or artists or of any kind, musicians. They wouldn't be able to make money that way, but things are slowly changing. However, very many African entrepreneurs have first started by having a passion for making things different in their community, making things different in their own situation. So it really doesn't matter what kind of passion you're looking at. It might just be a hunger to get out of poverty. It might just be that you just want to live a different life. You want to get out of the situation you're in. Or you're tired of seeing people in your community suffering in one way or another. But whatever it is, that passion should be so much that it is able to drive you to make a sustained effort in making a change in the way you do things, in your, your thinking, in how far you can go to implement a business strategy. Now, the other thing that you must have is discipline. Now, passion without discipline doesn't really have any impact because at the end of the day, even if you're passionate about becoming better as a human being, but you're not disciplined enough to do things differently, then those changes are not going to take place. So you need to have a lot of discipline so that when you decide that this is what you're going to do, you stick to that and you continually do it until you are successful. So discipline is very important. You cannot be lazy and expect to succeed in your business. If you have to wake up early, then you must work up early consistently for whatever period it requires and you cannot stop just because for a day or two you do not have an early order it's an opportunity for you for example to do other things in your business so you have to be disciplined in the way you do things the other thing is you have to be optimistic africa is tough it's much tougher than being in a more developed country. The reality is that the spending power of people around you, even the most successful people, might not be as high or in the volumes that you would be having if you are in another market. So the chances of you not succeeding are very, very high. So everyone around you will be speaking negatively and will be saying, yeah, yeah, entrepreneurship in Africa does not work. But the reality is that entrepreneurship is difficult everywhere. It might be tougher in Africa, but it is difficult everywhere. And for that reason, you have to be very optimistic. If you're the kind of person who's easily swayed one way or the other, you might just be having that one million dollar idea and you'd let it go. So be optimistic. And being optimistic doesn't mean that you ignore the negative aspects of uh, whatever you're doing. It just means that you know that you're, they're there, but then you 
find ways to go around them. It is a can-do mentality. It is, yes, it is difficult, but there must be a way around because really there is nothing that is impossible. So you have to be very optimistic. The other thing that I like to talk about uh, regarding mindsets of entrepreneurs is being ready. You may find that right now, whatever you're doing is, uh, you might want to start writing your business plan before you have all the details about whatever business you're looking to go into but if you say you're going to wait until you have all the facts in place before you write your business plan then if you meet someone tomorrow who might be interested in your business you do not have anything to show them it is better that you have the one page business plan uh, that you can give out uh, the one page summary of your idea so if someone is interested you know you know what to tell them and they have a perspective of where you're at because they can always come back to discuss it further but if you have nothing then you might lose quite a lot of chances you always have to be ready so you meet an investor per chance then you're ready to pitch the other thing that i will consider to be very important for an entrepreneur is to be a risk taker uh, when we talk about risk taking, we always talk about it very negatively in the perspective that uh, we are putting ourselves in the line of danger. But the reality is that life is about risk taking. You're never sure when you leave your house in the morning whether you're going to come back in the evening. And you're never sure when you make any investment anywhere that you're going to get your money back. The risk may be presumably reduced but nobody knows tomorrow so you have to have the mindset that given the facts that you have in place that things are going to work out fine you have to be able to take those risks now these have to be calculated risks it's not uh, making a necessary risk within the facts that you have yeah you should be able to make a decision and this is very important for you even as a leader if you are not able to make decisions at any one time within the uh, the, info, uh, the facts that you have then it will be very difficult for you to be able to move fast to be able to take up opportunities as they come along because most of the time opportunities do not come twice they come once and when you're ready for them then you should be able uh, to take them or say no and move on whether later on you find out that it was a good opportunity or not I also consider things like being patient very important uh, success doesn't come overnight you'll need to work hard you'll need to uh, give your business time to grow to that place it needs to be even when you're having your team even when you've recruited the finest people in the market, it is necessary that you give them time to be able to work together properly, to be able to understand each other. So you have to be a patient person. You need to give people time. And finally, uh, the issue of planning, you have to be a planner. You have to be a strategic thinker, someone who thinks ahead about the end results and the expectations that they are they want out of a situation if you're not a strategic planner the thing is that you will be very busy doing a lot of things that are taking you nowhere so you have to be a strategic planner you have to think ahead uh, to what this activity I'm doing right now what does it mean for my business in a few moments what does it mean for my business in a year where am I heading to with this plan that I'm having Finally, and this is final, final, is the issue about uh, humility. And the reason I'm laughing is that I've thought of another point. Well, the humility. I find that in Africa, we have a lot of successful people who may not be humble. But you find that the really successful people learn to be humble. Because if you're arrogant, you tend to lose a lot of opportunities. You tend to lose a lot of chances. The ability and information 
and a wealth of information that is out there is not to a select few ideas come to anyone so if you are not humble you might ignore the person who might bring you that million dollar idea so you have to learn to be humble you want to learn to be able to communicate well with people from all levels person who reaches out to others now my final final uh, point would be with learning how to prioritize there's so much that you need to do as an entrepreneur now if you do not prioritize your activities what you're going to do would be kept busy with things that are not taking you to the place you want to go and this is very closely related with being a strategic thinker so all these things are necessary for you to be successful as an entrepreneur uh, you need to cultivate those skills that you do not have because no one is born perfect with you know like ready to be an entrepreneur they might have a few of these skills a good number of these skills but no one has all of this um, mindsets so it is important that you give yourself time be patient with yourself and learn how to become an entrepreneur develop those skills that you do not have and as you grow your business you'll find that naturally you build in this skill into your uh, wealth of knowledge so do have a lovely day it was nice talking to you and our next video will be discussing how much time you need to put into your business